Good evening to you. I'm Sandra Ali. And I'm Dave Wagner. Tsunami volunteers who spent more than a week overseas are back in the tri-state tonight and they're sharing their stories with News 5. Our Emily Longnecker was there when they landed at our international airport. Emily? Hi, Dave. An absolutely joyful homecoming for these volunteers tonight. They were glad to come home to their families, but many said it was so hard to leave behind the people and children they met in South Asia who need so much help right now. Hugs, balloons, and flowers for these students returning from South Asia. It may only have been a nine-day trip, but these students from Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy will never be the same. It was a life-changing experience, for sure. Andy Bradford says he'll never forget the thousands of children he met at this orphanage in India. We built basketball courts, uh, soccer fields, we did arts and crafts all day. It was tough work, but it was just awesome to see the kids' faces. Many of the orphans couldn't speak English, but that didn't stop heartfelt connections from being made. So much you can do just through actions. Actions speak louder than words. For some on the trip, organized by Global Peace Initiative, seeing what the tsunami left behind was hard to comprehend. The devastation is, it's hard to explain in words. Local businessman Carl Linder III headed up a group of volunteers who visited the tsunami-ravaged areas of Sri Lanka. It just uh, left an impact on, on all of us that uh, will be there forever. Linder's group delivered medical supplies, food and blankets to tsunami victims. Linder says he was amazed at the people's resiliency despite the devastation all around them. You know, a week after the disaster hit, uh, they all still had some joy, even despite the tragedy, uh, they still had some joy left. The hardest for Linder's group? Meeting tsunami orphans. Some of them are still in shock, some of them don't, don't really know, they just think their parents are away. Now this certainly will not be the last trip to South Asia for Global Peace Initiative. The organization will be returning next week to help tsunami victims and orphans and aiding that effort a million dollars more from the Lindner family. Where the news comes first, Emily Longnecker, News 5. An amazing trip. Of course, those uh, recovering from the tsunami still need your help. For more information on how to give, you can log on to our website, channelcincinnati.com, look under Scene on 5.